Yeah. Okay, Hutch, are you ready? Hello, I'm back sniping at Imperium on a very hot day. Uh, I thought this gameplay I'd do something a little different to my normal videos. I've been making all these sort of various videos, long and short, over the past year. But none of them have really explained like what it's actually like to use an airsoft Um The videos are cut down into an intense seven or eight minute action packed video. Uh, and although these are kind of fun to watch, they don't really show you the reality of it, which is airsofting in a ghillie is really slow paced. And it's a lot more difficult to actually hit the target than it seems in these kinds of videos you see on YouTube, including mine. Mine are just as guilty of this as uh, any others. So this video I thought I'd sort of talk about what's going on and try and keep it realistic as to what to expect if you are thinking of starting something. This isn't an uncut video or anything and I did get a nice kill streak at the end of this game but yeah I've tried to keep it slightly more realistic to my usual videos and yeah hopefully I can give you some little tips and tricks I've picked up along the way or even if you've never played Airsoft hopefully this will give you some interesting yeah, insights. But there's more to the right. Right, right. Right. So Hutchie and I are shooting here at the same targets and actually Hutchie stole quite a few of my kill I have to say. He's using the new Modify Scout, um, which is something I am considering to get. So if you look at the selfie cam here, you can see I'm in a very shaded spot. And although my whole body's on view and I'm moving around quite a lot, uh, the people in that field are going to find it very hard to see me because uh, it's a very sunny day which means that the glare from the sun makes it very hard to see into shadows. So here I'm watching where the BBs are going. Um, it was the first engagement of the day and my hop wasn't quite set correctly but I'm more thinking about the wind here. One of the things you learn at this site that I play at is even if you think it's not that windy it's really windy. Uh, it's very open fields and we're by the sea. So yeah, very much not a one-shot, one kind of game. Uh, one of the sort of ways you can counteract the wind is tilting your gun into it uh, and use the hop-up effect to make the BB fly straight. So the hop-up is trying to take your BB up, but if you tilt the gun sideways, it's going to try and take it sideways, i.e. into the wind. You can aim off to the side, but it won't be as easy to see where the BB is landing as it's going to be flying sideways to you when the wind takes it as opposed to straight away from you. So here you can see the extent at which I'm having to tilt my look at the horizon. You can see like almost 20 degrees worth of tilt. Spawns over there, so I think we need to move left to try and kill some blues. So this was a different part of the day and it was the start of a game where we got to set up in a defensive position. I'm actually facing towards here my own team and yeah, so the enemy's going to come from behind me and have their back to me when I'm shooting. You got a good range on that? You got a good range down there? If I was playing really sneaky there, I probably wouldn't have got them in such quick succession, but I was kind of thinking about the kill streak I was going to get, so 
Yeah. So I'm back from Respawn now, and I don't really know where they've pushed up to, but I can hear some people talking over the tall grass that's just in front of me here. Off in the distance, I see about 10 guys. Uh, they are in range, but there's some tall grasses between myself and them, and I know that there's sort of 0% chance of hitting them if my VV clips any of these pieces of grass. These plants are stopping all my BBs going through. I know I can stand up, but if I do that, I'm going to get spotted. Move, mate. Move. Can you move, please? Can you move, please? This reminds me actually of a really uh, kind of important point if you're thinking of starting up and your hearing is really important a lot of people when they first wear a ghillie suit and craft it they cram as much material onto the head as possible to try and break up that shape of the head and yeah I wear a boonie and don't have anything covering my ears and when I do wear a balaclava I cut big holes where my ears are uh, it's not going to give you a position away just just your ears on show <laughs> So I was walking along with Hutchie. Hutchie's the other guy I was talking with today and yeah I'll put a link in the description for his uh, YouTube channel. So we, we heard this vehicle coming in and we kind of both immediately knew to sort of run towards it and take position. <laughs> if you ever do get to play at a site with vehicles, um, one tip I'll give you is that um, people that have been dropped off in an area from a vehicle are completely unaware of the situation and, and where he is. Uh, unfortunately for these guys, they had no clue. So I'll just let this clip play out. To give them some credit though, they did at least run to cover immediately. So that's a, a bonus. It really doesn't go as smoothly as that every time. Uh, but as I say, those guys got it unlucky. They got dropped off and right to the last of the second of play, they didn't know where, which direction I was coming from. So for those that haven't heard of Imperium Airsoft, uh, it's a vast site and they give you two spawns. So here I'm just moving towards my other spawn, knowing that I'm probably going to, um, because I'm very much behind their lines again here. So I've been making my way around this track because I know there's a really good spot to start engaging these guys on the hill and when I get there I notice they've all got their back to me so I get to the sort of crest of this hill and start engaging.
I know this has been a little different to my usual videos, uh, so let me know what you think in the comments and yeah, I'll continue in this style if, if you guys like it. I know this video hasn't been like a true uncut version, but the truth is I don't think anyone would watch me wandering around the site for four hours if I did that. Bear in mind that every time I'm kind of moving to a new position, it's often like an hour has been skipped and I'm just skipping to the next bit of action. But yeah, I've tried to keep it realistic in terms of what you might expect if you are thinking of starting or even if you haven't played airsoft before um, hopefully this will have given you some interesting insights